Hey there, Jim and Cindy here from Out of Pocket. We've had our Solus Pocket for 60 days, so today we're going to give you a review of what our experience has been like over those first first two months with the van. We uh, have had a chance to take some trips. Um, we drove it home from Alabama where we bought it, went down to Florida on a trip, did some biking along the way, took it up to Quebec for some ice skating back in February, so we've had a chance to sleep in it. I think we've got a good uh, some good feedback that you guys will appreciate uh, if you're looking at the Solus Pocket. So, why did we pick the Pocket? What, what led us to this particular van? We had figured out a few different things that we needed in a van. One of which was it had to have a normal car footprint. We wanted to be able to drive it and park it wherever we wanted. No reservations required. It could be in front of a coffee shop. That's what we needed. Yeah, in our garage. We put a bigger door in our garage. We had pretty limited space. Uh, the biggest door we could fit was um, 9 feet 6 inches. This van is 9 feet 5 inches, uh, so fortunately tucks right in there and uh, we can keep a garage in there. We needed to be able to carry two mountain bikes. We're big mountain bikers and obviously you have to travel place to place and we don't always want to have the bikes hanging out in back where they get dirty if it's bad weather, dirt roads. We wanted to be able to put the bikes inside the van. We also didn't want to spend a lot of money. It is our first van. Um, we're really enjoying it, but we didn't really know what having a van was going to be like. Um, so we're looking for something that was could get a lot for your dollar. We did not need a wet bath. That's we, it was a lot of real estate that those take up in a van, and it's not something that we were going to use. I can say that definitively. Not going to use it. <laughs> last, <laughs> last but not least, we uh, we didn't want to do a build ourselves. Uh, a lot of people we know have built out vans. We helped our son build out of, build out his van. Um, we just wanted something that was turnkey, we could buy it and be ready to hit the road. So, uh, with all that, that's why we have a Solus Pocket, that's why we bought it. All let's right. take a look around the van. Let's see it. Alright, so let's take a quick look around the van at some of the things that we found uh, so far. This kind of panel here and these screws um, related also to this netting, it's just kind of they kind of strip out really easily. I've had to put two bigger screws in already. I noticed one of them is already kind of stripped out of the plastic. So keep putting in bigger screws. I don't know, it's not the best setup, not the end of the world, uh, but that's that. This light strip is kind of popping off in a couple spots. It's just kind of stuck with some double-sided tape onto that curve. It doesn't exactly sit on there. You can kind of stick it back, but it just pops off again uh, next time. Coming over to this cabinet, uh, these handles are supposed to be horizontal. That's how the latch works behind the scenes. This one was mounted a little bit crooked and you can't adjust it after it's screwed in on the inside. So what happens is if you're in a really bumpy road situation, we've had this door pop open several times. So that's kind of a pain. Um, that one really can't be fixed. This uh, wood that they use on the laminate, you can see on this piece here, this you know, this ends are kind of coming off. We've had this happen in a few spots. I've glued it. It's not the end of the world to glue it, uh, but it's just kind of too bad to have that stuff flaking off. If you look at the quality of some of the woodwork in this cabinet, for example, you can see down here, just kind of sloppy, a little sloppy wood cutting. Um, so that's something, again, you can probably shave that down. Not, not the end of the world, but, uh, but that's an issue. Over here on the end of this cabinet, there's like a rubber seal. You know, again, could probably finagle that, but it just doesn't really fit in there, fit in there correctly. Um, so that's been an issue. This cushion, I can see the seam is actually coming apart. Um, it was like that when we got it. I haven't contacted Winnebago about it. I might. This cabinet, when we picked up the van, this little metal thing was not on this cabinet. And the interesting thing is, when we look at their pictures when they were selling the vehicle on their website, it was there. Then we picked up the van, they gave us a little walkthrough. We didn't notice it at the time, but it was missing. And then obviously, when we got the van home, we, we realized it, uh, we needed it to hold that cabinet open. So Winnebago sent us a new one. I put it on. Uh, not really that big of a deal. Um, but those are most of the issues that we've had with the Winnebago. As far as the van, the Ram van, uh, it's been pretty good had the blinker warning light come on a few times for no reason that I can explain. 
seems to reset and go away, so that's just something we're keeping our eye on at this point. All right, so you heard all of the things that weren't great. Uh, not terrible, nothing was terrible, but that's some concerns that we had. And now, really to the part of, overall, do we like it? The Solus Pocket? Do we? It's great. We love it. Absolutely love it. Best choice we could have possibly made. Um, overall, the layout is great. It is so flexible. We can set it up any which way that we want, depending on what we're doing. Storage is good for the bikes or anything else that we want to carry around. Um, the L-Tracks, especially with the bikes, are really useful. With the fork mounts, I'll do something about how to fit two bikes in it. Um, is another video as well at some, some, sometime soon. And the Murphy bed, being able to fold the bed up and out of the way for more storage depending on what we're putting in is a fabulous idea and the bed itself is so comfortable. I have slept amazing in that bed. Yeah, I love the blackout shades. It comes with everything you need. It's all pre-installed. Pull in somewhere, bump, bump, bump. You go black and yeah. you're in your own little pod. It's, it's really great. The heat uh, being on a timer is amazing when you wake up after a, yeah, after night and it's cold could be cold in the van we set that little timer up it's nice and toasty for when we wake up and get out or when we come back from a ride you know we're going to be back by seven o'clock at night we can set the timer for the heat to go off and our van is toasty for changing yeah it's good good power um connectivity usb outlets um stuff like that the way this van works is it's 12 volt power for everything it has 115 volt, but only if you're plugged into a shore power plug, but that hasn't really been an issue um, for us. Uh, the power setup is pretty good. And lastly, they use uh, a Uconnect, Android Auto, uh, for the sound system and a lot of the control systems in the front of the van. And that's been a game changer. We, everybody's got their own phones, so usually when we go into our different vehicles, one phone runs one car. Uh, this vehicle, both phones can run different aspects of it. One phone can be running the music while another one is doing the directions, the GPS. Uh, and it's really, really easy to switch the, among the different different devices. So that, I wish we could get that on our other vehicles. Yeah, so that's, uh, it's been 60 days since we purchased it. Um, we really do like the van. It's really been a great addition, game changer for a lot of the stuff we like to do. And hopefully you found this tour helpful if you're looking at this van uh, for your own needs. Absolutely. We highly recommend it. And the next video that hopefully you'll come back for, we'll show you how we tweaked it out to make it more for us to suit our needs. So until then, take care and have fun. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay. Let's see how it came out. <laughs>